this is where things start to go south. I have never seen this coverage in my life. In this video, I'm taking on the A Learning World map to test my GeoGuessr skills in the first episode to see if I have what it takes to become a GeoGuessr Pro. Hello everyone and welcome back to the GeoGoose YouTube channel and like I said this is the first episode where I'm going to be going through a few different maps training hopefully with some other better GeoGuessr players to see if I have what it takes to eventually become a GeoGuessr Pro. Now I'd say I'm average to maybe a bit above average at the game I've been playing for a while but I've never studied metas really or really anything in the pro scene and today is the start of something different. So I found a map created by the legendary Geo Peter, one of my favorite GeoGuessr content creators and he made this map specifically to test out different countries or city landscapes to see if you know where you are around the world without any meta. So let's just get straight into this. We're going to be playing without moving, without moving, unlimited time. I'm going to give, actually, no, I'm going to give myself about two, three minutes per round, three minutes per round on a learning world. And I'm aiming for a score of 20,000 in each seed because I feel like if I can get 20,000 on each seed, that's a good indicator that I might eventually have what it takes to build my skill set up. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First seed in a learning world. Well, I'm super excited for this because I haven't, I've played a learning world before, but it was a long time ago when it was first made and boy, okay. So I've watched a lot of Geo Peter's videos. I've studied uh, his other Ballard map, but that was years ago as well. I took a bit of a hiatus from GeoGuessr, but I'm back at it and I'm trying to see if I remember what's going on. Now, these Ballards, they're either, I know these are either Estonian or Finnish usually. This blue highway sign, that might be Finland. Let me just go in and check. These little blue, no, it's not Finland. Is it Estonia? Oh, I don't think it's Estonia either. Okay, now I'm confused. So these bollards, I thought they were Finnish or Estonian. Let's look at the landscape. Could I feasibly believe this being Finland? Yeah, I could. It's, it looks quite cold. Is there a blue strip on the plate? I can't really tell. It's quite blurry. Hmm. Blue sign over there. Are there any other countries that I'm forgetting about that use that? I don't think so. I think this is probably Finland or Estonia, and this might just be a mile marker and not a road number. I feel like this is probably a mile marker. Now, do I think this is Finland or Estonia between the two? It doesn't really look Baltic to me. I mean, you know, when you get Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, those toss-ups, you get some like maybe dirt roads, a little poor road quality, but this road looks really nice. Um, and not that you don't get nice roads in Estonia, but it definitely feels to me much more like Finland than Estonia. So let's line up the road angle here. Yeah, so it's heading slightly northeast. I'm going to guess it's just somewhere maybe outside of Helsinki. Uh, I think that's a reasonable guess. Maybe on E75 here. I don't see any roads around us, actually. Let's see. No, it's quite rural, actually. So maybe I'll go a little further outside of Helsinki, like somewhere out here on like the 53... Does this road angle line up? Yeah, that lines up pretty well. I'm going to click somewhere around here. I know I have a minute left, but I don't think there's any other hints I'm going to find here. I'm just hoping that it is Finland. And it was, I got some badges, but it was Estonia. Okay, so those were Estonian bollards. I'm going to have to learn the difference between the Finland and Estonia bollards. I think that's, that's something I'll have to do in a future video. We'll have to go into some more bollard study because I feel like... There is a significant difference between the Finland and Estonia ones that I'm missing. I know the style is the same for both. It's this, you know, white line with two white circles on the back. That much I know. But I feel like there's a difference in the roundedness of the bollard, maybe. Maybe the Estonian one is a bit thicker like this, more rounded, and the Finnish one is a bit smaller. Um, I'm not sure, but let's just get right back into the game. Um, we've got 4,000 points, so you know what? We're still on pace for my 20,000 if I can keep that up every round, and all in all, it's not that bad a score. I guess Finland on Estonia, which I feel like is a decent beginner's mistake, but this looks much easier. I would hope, right? Let's take a look. I mean, my first cut was Switzerland, but I know in Switzerland, the camera on the car is a little bit lower, as the pros call low cam, and I don't think I have that here. Franza, Espana, I mean, could this just be Andorra then? Andorra was another guess that I had, and this architecture, this like dark architecture with a lot of black, a lot of brick here, brown, beige, it feels Andorran. 
I don't know Andorran license plates, but these are not typical European license plates at all, at least not on this car. This one's more normal, but this says España one direction, Francia the other. So, I mean, this has to be Andorra, right? Let's take a look here. Principal of Andorra, it is. And I don't think it says Andorra La Velix. I know Andorra La, La Vega, La Vella is the capital city. But let's just get in here. I, does this say, is that the city there? Something bad uh, L. Um, maybe not, but I, I mean, we are in Andorra. Could it be Santa Julia? Could that be this? Santa Julia de Loria? It's really blurry, but I think it could be. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a roundabout right here. I'm coming at it from the north on a very north-south stretch of road. Volvo Andorra. No, this is a Ford dealership. But again, this part here is very north-south heading into the roundabout, so I don't think it's that. Is there another roundabout around here? Well, there's one here, but heading north, there no, there should be a Ford dealership. Let's see. Is Do I know the roads here? Ordino la Masana. So France is to the east and Spain is to the west. I mean, could this just be Andorra la Vea? I'm not sure. I mean, regardless, we're in Andorra. I'm going to click in Andorra because I know we're here. And at the very least, I know we'll get a very good score. So let's just go into Andorra la Vea and let's take a look. Oh, wait, Ford dealer. Did I just accidentally zoom in? Is there a big circular... Yeah, there is. Look at that. Okay, so we are just in the capital city. Maybe this is a traveling truck. That's probably what it is. So let's line ourselves up. I'm just out front of the Ford building. So I'm about here, I would say, as this building begins to curve. Yeah, I'm just inside there. I think this is pretty much perfect, guys. I think we got a 5,000 score for our second one. Look at that. Four meters from the location. 5,000 for Andorra. So... It's looking like I kind of know what I'm doing, at least, which is a good good news if I eventually want to become a pro. However, this is where things start to go south. I have never seen this coverage in my life. What does this say? Sraka, but it's not readable. Okay. Um, what does this landscape look like? I mean, it looks good quite low income if i do say so myself it's not meant to be an offense or anything but it looks like wood straw-ish houses so i mean could we be in africa ever the sun it's slightly to the north so that would make sense there's a rift in the sky rift in the sky which countries do you see that if i'm remembering correctly you see rifts in montenegro and sometimes albania uh, and also Senegal, but there's only, well, I don't know if that counts. I think like they're usually bigger than this from what I remember. Do you get offshore coverage in Senegal? I mean, the land is to my East, which would make sense for Senegal. And there's a little tip up here, but again, this is all desert. So this isn't, this isn't Dakar. I mean, could I be like, no, but that's like a big city. I mean, could I be here though? Could I be somewhere, like, off the coast in Senegal? This coast kind of bending out here makes a little bit of sense. It's a bit of a resort. This land looks okay, right? I mean, I don't think I'm that far off. And the land... Well, the land's kind of to my southeast here. Which doesn't really line up. Like, if you align the coastline... Well, no, the coastline, coastline's pointing a bit northwest... I think this could be a decent guess, but again, I'm basing it just off this rift, and I don't even know if this is a real rift, and that's meta, right? And, that, and it's not something I want. I kind of want to be able to just look at the round and tell where I am, but at the same time, it being this sandy with um, some kind of rough-looking houses, very dry, this could very well be African to me. Um, I do wonder if it might be Southeast Asian somewhere, because I just don't know, but... With 30 seconds left, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable just to lock in here in Senegal. I know I don't see any hotel or anything. No resorts really on the beach side. So I think this is wrong, but there's a small rift in the sky. It could feasibly be African, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it was Madagascar. That's why I have boat coverage. Oh, I didn't know Madagascar had coverage like that. Oh, look at this. Wow, this is such a small town. 
do I ever get Madagascar here? I'm not sure. Like, without knowing that this is Madagascar, I don't think I'll ever get this. It didn't say Madagascar here, did it? No, I don't think it did. Maybe it did somewhere that I missed, but... Okay, that makes so much sense now. But that's tough. I didn't know this coverage existed, so it's something I'm going to have to log into the memory bank. And that's another thing with these videos that I'm really excited to see, right? When you just play GeoGuessr on your own, if you have a, a studying routine, yeah, it can maybe help. But I find when I talk through my guesses, talk through my thought process, and I have a reference to look back on around where I did screw up, then it's really, really helpful to help me sort of keep that keep that mentality, keep that like mental note of around that I messed up. So unfortunately, getting only 36 points officially eliminates us from being able to get 20k, I believe, because now we can only get 15,000 total for the rest of the rounds. But all the same, that's all right. I got it was Africa and I'm going to remember that for next time. Now, this round here, Novenero de Nazeno, oh, dot CZ. This is Czechia. Um, these bollards. Yeah, so if I'm remembering correctly, these orange strips, when they're like this, they're horizontal strips as opposed to vertical, and I think those are found in Czechia. So that's good news. Cheska, uh, I think, does that might mean, does that mean Czechia as well? I'm not sure, I guess so. Um, but yeah, this feels very, very Czech or Slovakian. Now, one big problem I've had in the past playing GeoGuessr is that I find it very difficult to distinguish between Czechia and Slovakia. Um, this house, yeah, I, I don't really know. I can't really judge based on architecture. But I, anyway, right here, I assume we're in Czechia, but this truck could be traveling. Are these bollards also found in Slovakia? They might be. I'm not sure. I think they are. So I'm going to have to be careful. Česka, is, does that mean that Czechia is off to our northeast? Or am I crazy? Let's look at the highway sign. So blue highway 43 and the E461. Whoa, look at that. E461 blue highway 53. E461 and that continues up 43 right here. Okay, so I found the highways. We're on E461 and 43. So we're, we're on this stretch here and I need to look for Svitavi. We have Svitavka. I need to look for Blansko and Vranov. Vranov is off to our east. So if I can find Vranov on this stretch of highway, we're going to be in great shape. So I'm looking for Vranov and Cheska, Svitavi and Blansko. It's a lot of <laughs> a lot of different names that I'm trying to keep track of here. Okay, let's just get through Czechia here. I don't see... Oh, Svitavi! Svitavi is here. Okay, perfect. So what... What's the rough direction of the road that we're on? We only have 45 seconds left. Slightly northwest, which would match up well here. Okay, this is good. So maybe if I zoom out a little bit and I look in, in a little more inland to try and find... Or not inland, a little more off to the east. Look for Cheska and Vranov. And Svitavi is here, which means Blansko is probably further. Cheska. Cheska is there. Okay... Oh, I'm confused now. Let's see if I can find Cheska or Vranov really fast. I don't see Vranov, but you know what? I'm okay with guessing near Svitavi. I found Svitavi, and I figured out it was Czechia, so I'm just going to go with the guess. And I'll be happy with it. Oh, it was way more south. It was just near Burno. Oh, there's Blansko. Oh, okay. Svitavi was further away. Wait, really? Can I look at that? So in Czechia, the city that's further away appears on the top. Ah, see, where I'm from in, in Canada here, at least where I live, the cities that are further away up here lower down on the sign. So that messed me up. But that makes a ton of sense looking at the landscape. And there's Vranov. It's just right here. And there's Cheska. It's all just right here next to Brno. And I went way too far up. Oh, that's my mistake. But you still got 4,836 points. I could have got 5,000 on that round, I think. We were given all the hints to get 5,000 points. But happy with that performance. Let's go to the next round. Okay, now, this poll here looks very distinctive. I feel like someone could tell me what this poll is. Um, something I'm not super familiar with is polls. Temos farmacia conveniencia restaurante. I think that might be Spanish. It's either Spanish or Portuguese. Oh, is this Brazil? 
that might be Portuguese. Look at the red soil. It says pare. There's red soil, kind of a kind of a weird hue to the coverage. Engenharia. That's not the Spanish word for engineering, I don't think. And look at that. Salao. Salao. This AO ending with the little tilde on the A, that is not found in Spanish. I know a little bit of Spanish. I can speak it a little bit. And that's not Spanish, which means we are in Brazil. So these poles must be Brazilian poles. Or at least they're found in Brazil. So like that's a good good note to make if I'm looking at poles in the future. Okay, great. License plates are a little longer. I think that makes sense. Um, so we got some roads here, some road signs, some blue road signs. There's not a lot to go off of here. The, the problem with Brazil is it's such a huge, huge country and... For me, at this point, the most I can get is like 18,500, basically. And that's if I pinpoint this Brazil location. And I'm not going to pinpoint this Brazil location. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, it looks really dry. Like, very dry. Lots of red soil. But, like, dry red soil. It's a little hilly as we get over there. But overall, where I am is like... It, it's sort of rolling hills. It's not flat, but it's not mountainous. That's for sure. So let's take a look at Brazil. I don't think we're out in the Amazon. It doesn't really feel like that. I mean, I would guess somewhere up here, somewhere like kind of near a coast, because I'm pretty sure it gets kind of dry up here. I mean, I've watched a few like GeoGuessr tournaments. I've watched some pros play. I do like watching GeoGuessr content, so I absorb some of the information. But when it comes to actually guessing a region in Brazil, I'm kind of hopeless. So, I mean, let's make a good guess here. Let's take a look. This tree, I... Okay, I don't know. I was going to pretend I knew something about the tree, but I don't. Sano de Reno das Estumas de Jehova. I don't think that means anything. I don't think... Well, I mean, it means something, but I don't think it tells me where I am. Okay, we have 25 seconds. My gut is that we're up here in the northeast somewhere. Like somewhere in Seara or maybe the state of Paraiba. I don't know the difference. Um, I don't think I'm going to find anything else that's going to help me. I'm hoping I'm right. It could be more south. These look like nice dry patches here. Like it could be here by Erese. But um, we're just going to guess and hope we're right. Ah, I was much more south. Way, way more south. Very inland. Not near the coast at all. We were in a town called... Near Nova Ponte. I don't even... Does this town even have a name? Very small town. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm ever getting that. It's Brazil is so difficult, guys. I, I'm, I really struggle to region guess on this map, but... Anyway, we got to score 15,600 on a learning world. And I feel like I learned a lot. This Madagascar boat coverage is something I am not going to forget. This dry Brazilian round. Let, let's bring it up again. Let's take a look. Okay, so maybe I should have guessed somewhere a little more south with just how dry it was. That seems fair enough. But all in all, I'm not upset with my score. Um... Senegal and Madagascar really destroyed our score. If we had guessed Madagascar correctly on that round, we might have been very close to 20,000, my original goal. Um, I got Czechia. Yeah, I could have got 5,000 there. I got 5,000 on the Andorra round. I mixed up Estonia and Finland, which is something I'm going to have to look into now. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty proud of my performance. So that'll do it for episode one of uh, my road to being a GeoGuessr Pro. I feel like I learned a little bit, even though it was just five rounds and i hope you guys enjoyed i mean this channel is brand new i'm hoping to reach out hoping to branch out hope you guys enjoy the idea for this series as far as i know there's no one else on youtube that's really done this at least not to a large scale and i'm pretty committed and i feel like i can make a nice long series not only to to show you if i have the skills but to help you along and maybe your journey to becoming a better geo player too that'll do it for geo goose we'll catch you in the next video